Hello friends, I am Dr. Sandeep Sukadhan and today I am going to talk about number needed to harm analysis. Number needed to harm is a measure of how many people need to be treated or exposed to a risk factor in order for one person to have a particular adverse effect. For example, if a drug has an NNH of 20, it means you have to treat 20 people with that drug to produce one additional bad outcome or an adverse effect. Please go through this example. The antidepressant drug A had an NNH of 64 for suicidal thoughts when used in children and adolescents. This means that for every 64 patient given that drug A, one of them experienced suicidal thoughts. The lower the NNH, the more risk of harm. An NNH of 1 means what? It would mean that every patient treated is getting harmed. NNH can be used to help us choose between two treatment options or two intervention. If, for example, NNH for drug A is higher than that for drug B, it suggests that drug A is having less adverse effect. More number of people needed to be treated with a drug A to produce an adverse effect. Now we can see how to calculate numbers needed to harm. Like in number needed to treat, we have to calculate control event rate and experimental event rate here also. Control event rate is the rate of adverse event or harm among controls. Please see the example. Okay, 100 people got the experiment and 100 people were controls. Out of 100 experimental people, 40 got harm. Out of controls, 100 controls, 20 got harm. So control event rate will be rate of adverse events among controls. So 20 divided by 100, that is equal to 20%, that is 0 0.2. Experimental event rate is the rate of adverse event or harm among experimental group. In this example, out of 100 who, who were in experimental group, 40 got harm or adverse event. So, experimental event rate is 40 out of 100 is equal to 40 percent that is equal to 0 0.4. Now, we have to calculate absolute risk in increase. Absolute risk increase means how much increase happens in risk because of the experiment. That is calculated by experimental event rate minus control event rate. That is absolute risk increase. That is equal to 0 0.4 minus 0 0.2. That is 0 0.2. This 20%. There is 20% increase in experimental event rate because of experiment. Relative risk increase that is calculated by the formula experimental event rate minus control event rate divided by control event rate. That is equal to 0 0.4 minus 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2 that is equal to 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2 that is 1 in other terms there is 100% increase in control event rate because of the experiment control event rate was 20% it became 40% that, that is double the increase that is 100% increase in 
control event rate because of the experiment. Now we can go to the calculation of number needed to harm. Number needed to harm is equal to 1 divided by absolute risk increase. That is 1 divided by 0 0.2. That is 5. How to interpret number needed to harm? You have to treat 5 people with the experiment to produce 1 adverse event or harm. Hope you understood. Thank you.